it's Miss Anna, and we're so excited to have you at Virtual Choir Rehearsal, as well as Maddie, Maddie, and Mr. Neil, who is off camera right now with some special guests that I was so excited to see today in the sanctuary. You want to bring them in? All right. Ready? Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go to choir. Ah! Let's go to choir. Come on. Wow. Hi, guys. Welcome to choir. <laughs> Can you sit? Baka, sit. 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 Sit, sit. Lay down. Oh, good boy. Lay down. Good boy. Lay, Be down. Lovely. lay down. Lay down. Oh, good boy. Ah, lay down. <laughs> All right. We brought some furry friends tonight to help us learn our songs. <laughs> Let's see. Maisie, sit. Good girl. Wow. This is Bacchus. Bacchus. And Maisie. And Mae Mobley. And... Solele. Solele. I tell you what, let's see which of these dogs is the best singer. Let's see. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh. Sometimes I feel scared. Sometimes I feel weak. Lost and lonely as a wayward sheep. If you're really there, God. Show me that you care, God, for my boat is small, and, and the sea is so deep. You guys, sometimes I feel like I'm the worst person in the cast. Everyone I see is smarter than me. Everyone is strong and twice as fast. Everyone is prettier, more talented and prettier. I think I'm the worst in the cast. Hey, everybody, relax. It's gonna be okay. Are you sure? Trust, Trust me, me, I'm, I'm the director. If you say, if you say so. so. You know what, you know what might help? help? What if we prayed like we, pray like like we do at other rehearsals? Okay, I guess yeah, so. All right. Please join with us as we pray. Lord, Lord we, we thank, you thank you that you're here. Lord, we thank you that you're here. Thank thank you Please, Please help, help us to present, to present your, story. your story. Please help us to present your story. So everybody watching us, so everybody watching us, will see you. We'll see you. Amen. Amen. When I feel this way, that's when I remember there's a promise I know God will keep. God will stay beside me, God will always guide me, for my boat is small, and the sea is so deep. All right, nice job, everybody. Yay! Tonight, okay, we're going to learn a few on. more songs uh, in the musical. So we're not going to review My Boat is Small. Instead, we're going to keep moving on. Okay. But before we introduce a new song, are any of these songs new to you, Maddie? Yes. <laughs> Which ones? All of them. All right. Nothing wrong with that. No. So if you're at home and this is the first time you've turned in, tuned in to virtual choir since we started Table for 5,000, don't sweat it. No. This is Miss Maddie's first night, and as you can see, she is not sweating it. Just have fun and try to learn as we go along. Yeah. So the next song we're going to go to is the sad song in this play. It's called Come If You're Weary. And the words to this song really make a lot of sense this week. I don't know if any of you guys at home have been watching the news or talking to your uh, parents or other people in your family about what's going on in the news. Um, but it sounds like that the, the words to this song are, we, we just got a little bit of crackle crackle from Maddie, if we can turn that down. Uh, Sorry about that. The words are, come if you're weary, come if you're weak, someday the earth will belong to the meek. To the meek. And we've talked about in weeks previous, what does it mean to be meek? And I'm just wondering, is there anybody at home who could explain how the words to this song relate to some of the things that are going on in the news these days? It's been a really hard couple of days. If you have an idea of how this song relates to what's going on in the world right now, there are lots of examples. Text me at 414-331-2691. Let's sing this song. Oops. 
Benjamin knew he wasn't big or... The world may say you're in last place, but in God's eyes, you're first. Do you feel like you're carrying a heavy burden? Come to me. My All right. Is light, and I'll carry ready? You. Get your right hand ready. Do people say you're meek? Get this right hand. <laughs> the meek will inherit the earth. Come if you're weary, come if you're weak, someday the earth will belong to the meek. Come if you're hungry, come if you thirst, the first will be last, and the last will be first. sparrows for a penny, but God watches over every one of them. Think how much more God cares about you. That's a good point. God is like a shepherd who goes searching for the one sheep that wandered away from the rest. All right, here we go. Even a tiny seed can grow into Come a big if you're tree weary. and produces fruit. You can be God's seed. Come if you're weary. Come if you're weak. Someday the earth will belong to the meek. Come if you're hungry. Come if you're hungry. Come if you thirst. The first will be last, and the last will be first. Some people didn't understand what Jesus was talking about. They thought he came to be a great king. They wanted to be leaders in his kingdom. Even his disciples argued about it. Jesus, which one of us is the greatest? What do we have to do to be the best? Jesus, there is no one higher, so we ask what you require. Tell us, Lord, what we can do to become as great as you. But his answer surprised them. He invited a child to stand in front of them and said, If you hunger to be first, then your cravings to be best. Be as humble as a child, be a servant to the rest. Come if you're weary, come if you're weak, someday the earth will belong to the meek. Come if you're hungry, come if you thirst, the first will be last, and the last will be first. All right, that's such a beautiful song. Let's see if anybody chimed in with an answer to our question. Um... No answers yet. No answers to that question. I've got another question to ask for oh tonight. The next question is, this little dog, what's the little dog's name? Did I you hear it? I introduced it at the beginning, the little dog's name. And what does her name mean? And what language is her name in? Oh, I don't know. So three, no, no, three questions. What's the name of the dog? What's the language her name is in? And what does it mean? Now, let's shift gears and learn a new song. <laughs> you two are too funny. Bread of Life. Okay. Miss Anna and Maddie, come on over closer to the piano and we're gonna learn a new song. What page is it on in our binder? It is the last one. It is... 56, I hear Maddie say. Is this right. okay? I don't want to get too yep, close. Yes, that's great. So, Miss Anna, do you want to introduce this one to the children? Sure. You would like me to sing it first? Yeah, I think so. Do you want me to sing part one or part two? Uh, let's have you do everything. So okay. Here we go. You are the bread, you are the bread, you are the bread, you are the bread. We are hungry, whoa, now we are fed. Cool. Maddie, 
can you do that much with Miss Anna? Here we go. You are the bread. One, two. What a bread. You are the bread. You are the bread. You are the bread. Once we were hungry. Oh, now we are fed. Fantastic. Now, I'm going to go first, and I'd like you guys to sing along with the children at home. Got it. Actually, it'd be the, be the part two, the echo, or the high part. <laughs> One. You are the bread. You are the bread. Once we were hungry, now we are fed. What's the next part, Miss Anna? We bring our faith. We bring our faith. Smooth as a sea. Nice, let's do that part all together. We bring our faith. We bring our faith. We bring our faith. Small as a seed. Small as a seed. Still you are faithful. Still you are faithful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To fill every need. Good, let's do that whole chunk again. We bring our faith. One, two, we bring our faith, small as a seed, still you are faithful to fill every need. Let's do that much from the beginning. Okay. You are the bread. Now we are fed. We bring our faith. We bring our faith. Small as a seed. Still you are faithful. To fill every need. Nice job. Let's skip ahead okay. to page 60. Got it. On measure 38. Mr. Tim, could you turn up our volumes in the house? That'd be great. Here we go. Page, page 60. You are the bread. One, two. You, you are, are the bread. bread. You are the bread. And you are the bread of life. The bread of life. The bread of life. Big ending again. Bottom of page 60. You are the bread. One, two. You are the bread. You are the bread. And you are the bread of life. The bread of life. The bread of life. The bread. Hi at the end. Oh, so Miss Anna, do you yes. remember who sings the last song? Is it just a handful of people? I think it's a big bunch of us. What do you think, Maddie? Do you remember from looking at your song index? I believe Who's... that it's the whole entire group. It's the whole cast. It's so we're all, all going to learn the last song. Let's do that one more time before we go back to one of the familiar songs that we were learned last week. Wonderful. Here we go from the beginning of Bread of Life. And this time when we get to that middle section, Miss Anna, why don't you sing that as solo material? I will do that. Here we go. Stand up, everybody, and start thinking for your video, what are you going to be doing when you dance. sing these words? Are you going to be sitting at the dinner table with a feast of all sorts of different breads Ooh. and crackers? If I did that, I'd probably have jelly and jam as well. Maybe some cheese. That sounds um, very good. Or would you be outside in your garden 
looking at all the vegetables that you're planting? Because Jesus is the bread of life. It's not really just that he's the bread. What are we really saying in this song? Jesus is the bread of life. Let's see if any of our uh, students can text in with an answer. Or did they answer um, the last question? Uh, we'll check back into that in a minute. Um, but what does it mean that Jesus is the bread of life? Hmm, the bread of life. Go ahead and text us that answer, whatever that means. Here we go, our final song of the musical, The Bread of Life. You are the bread. Two, three, yum, pop, pop, pop. Answer. Zachary says, Jesus is the bread of life because you need him to survive. Ooh, that is I absolutely that. right. Great answer, Zachary. Um, the Montague boys said, Jesus feeds us and he sustains us and he gives us life. I love that. Another great answer. Nice job, Montagues. Lauren Duncan, Jesus is the bread of life because he tastes really good and makes my tummy feel full. Lauren? Oh my gosh. I'm just kidding. Lauren didn't say any oh of that. Lauren gosh. said that uh, Jesus gives us life. Lauren would never. So that's right. Well, now that we know that bread of life means that Jesus gives us life, what can you do during that scene when you're filming at home yeah, besides just eating bread, what could you do to show? to show that Jesus is the bread of your life? I'd be really interested to hear some ideas. Um, meantime, let me go back and see if anybody remembers the name of the dog. Ooh, we've got an answer. Isabel and David, they are saying that the name of the dog is Soleil. Is that correct? That is correct. Soleil. Soleil. Can we get a close up on Soleil, Mr. Tim? That's a great name. This is Soleil. And as David and Isabel texted me, Soleil is French and it means the sun. Oh. It's kind of an ironic name for this particular dog because she's a little dark. Is she? Oh, hello. Yes. Not these two. These I are very friendly. Her name hello. I need some puppy love today. So I tell you what. Let's go on and do the song 
Jesus is coming. Ooh. Ladies, do you have some, um, do you have an outfit for Jesus is coming? Uh, I sure do. Okay, go ahead and put your outfits on. And I'm going to cue up the music. Hurry, everybody. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. We've got to look our best. Jesus is coming. It's almost like a test. He's a healer. He's a teacher. He's a prophet. He's a preacher. Jesus is coming. We've got to look our best. A famous leader trying to be knows this. I have to start over. I'm messing this song up terribly. Go ahead and let's do this again now that we've got our costumes on. Here we go. Jesus is coming. We've got to look our best. Jesus is coming. It's almost like a test. He's a healer. He's a teacher. He's a prophet, he's a preacher, Jesus is coming. We've got to look our best. The man's a famous leader, we're trying to denote this. And he has come to rescue us like David or Moses. Can I go with you? No! You're too young, you're too small, you don't fit our plans at all. When we go to meet the master, bringing you would be disaster. You don't fit our plans at all. But I want to see him too. We said no. The man's a famous rabbi. We're trying to impress. If little ones like you were there, you'd only make a mess. You're too young, you're too small. You don't fit our plans at all. When we go to meet the master, bringing you would be disaster. You don't fit our plans at all. Trouble? You already are trouble. Look at you. This could last all day and you don't even have a lunch. Maybe I could make one. No! Jesus is coming. We've got to look our best. Jesus is coming. It's almost like a test. He's a healer. He's a teacher. He's a prophet. He's a preacher. Jesus is coming. We've got to look our best. We've got to look our best. Let's get a close up on Miss Anna. So what are you doing there, Miss Anna? I am getting ready to look my best. With what? What are you doing though? What's what's that on your face? I have my makeup brush. Oh. I'm putting on makeup because I have to look my best. Oh, did you just get out of the shower? I did just get out of the shower. Me too. But I couldn't get my towel to wrap know, around my hair. It, just, it, wouldn't want, it didn't want it's to stay. hard with the microphone on, but that's why we have to practice these things before we shoot our video. It's true. Yeah, so it for is Jesus is coming, we've got to look our best. I was thinking about using this thing. Can you see what it is, Mr. Tim? <laughs> the razor. A razor. Jesus is coming, we've got, got to, to look, look our best. Ow! <gasps> Ooh. Oh my gosh. You Maybe I treat. won't use a razor. <laughs> Uh, this thing is wicked dangerous. What are you going to do for Jesus is coming? You've got to look your best. Maddie, any ideas? No, not really. No, not really. Huh. Let's see if people from home can text us in with some of their ideas, what, what ideas they, they might have? do for Jesus is coming. They've got to look our best. I have to tell you, it's a little too hot in the sanctuary for me to keep this robe oh, on much longer. So I'm going to take that off. And I think this is a great time to sing a song called Excuses. Okay, Excuses. And this one we're going to teach a little differently tonight. Okay. I'm going to sing it, and then you guys are going to do the motions for, okay. the, for the chorus part. Okay. Anybody have the page number for Excuses? Leave it. The page number. 
is, looks like it's page 37, 38. 30, yeah, I have 38. And we're going to learn the chorus part that goes like this. We'd love to give, we really would. We'd give it freely if we could. Let's do that much together. I we love to give, we really would. We'd give it freely if we could. So giving it freely, we're going to hand it out with our arms. And for the rest of it, we're going to do a kick line. I do love a kick line. We'd love to give, we really would. We'd give it freely if we could. So you see, we're sad to say, we'll have to give another day. Sounds good. Let's look at that one more time. We'd love to give, we really would. We'd give it freely if we could. So you see, we're sad to say, you'll have to ask another day. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? They are very funny. Excuse me? These guys need to be... How old are they? Are they puppies? Uh, no, they just act like it, I think. They're very playful. Actually, Baz, Bacchus is a puppy. Bacchus he's only about two years old. Oh. He's a two or three year old, he's but a he's a good boy. boy. All right, <laughs> let's try this again. We'd love to give, we really would. We'd give it freely if we could. So you see, we're sad to say, you'll have to ask another day. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. So you see, we're sad to say you'll have to ask another day. Awesome. Let's do this song with Miss Anna and Miss Maddie from the piano. The, from the beginning? Let's beginning? do it from the beginning. Got it. Here we go. again from the beginning. We, we'd willingly hand out our wealth. We'd willingly hang out our wealth as soon as we observed ourselves. We gladly offer our supplies, but they won't feed our crowd this size. I'm sure we'd share if we could see who else is giving food for free. We'd be Nancy shocked. 
Nancy shocked again. Sorry. Bottom of page 41. I'm there. One, two, three. Oh, we are really quite upset that we can't give because of debt. Dan Murphy says, can't you spare anything? And then Sue Dory sings. You know we donate all our stuff, but it just isn't good enough. Kathy Schluter. I would like a guarantee what's in Jacob says, Five little pieces of bread? And two fish? For 5,000 people? Anna? Sorry, I don't think so, kid. Just a minute, John. Didn't Jesus ask us how much food we had? Yeah. Yes. Well, this is what we have. Come on, take it to him, John, and you kids go with him. Okay, okay. So, Meg Liebeck Smoke says, But he didn't. He looked right at Benjamin and smiled. If you hunger to be first, if you're craving to be best, be as humble as a child, be a servant to the rest. Ready, Abby and Anna Ben. I tell you what, we are in such a good place. I'd like to introduce the miracle song. Oh! All right, so on page 49, Lauren Duncan and Tommy West, Lizzie Liebeck Smoke, Hannah Liebeck Smoke, Juju, you guys all have stuff coming up. So does Vernetta, Cheryl, and Susie. So let's go through that part for all of those characters. This is when there's a miracle and those two loaves of bread and how many fish? Five fish. Five fish. Ended up serving the whole 5,000 5, people. Right. Yep. Here we go. Um, I'll be Lauren Duncan. Take the bread, give thanks above. Pass the bread and share his love. Anna. Tommy's part again. Yes, I would Here we love go, to show Tommy. So little bread, what can he do? Raise the loaf and make it too. Then Lizzie Liebeck smoke faster. Four more times, do it again. Break the loaves and make them ten. Hannah Liebeck smoke. What's the side I see before me? Break the loaves and make them forty. Keep on passing till we're done. Excellent. 
then let's do this next little part. Anna. Look, we've got bread, lots of it. Take as much as you want. Yeah, pass it on. Nolan Dadian says, the disciples passed out baskets of bread to the crowd. As people received them, they took some of the bread and passed the baskets on to those beside them, and they passed them on to others. Eventually, everybody had bread and was eating. There's a, a Nina and John Hoyleman have lines, and then look, we're back to the closing song, Bread of Life. Let's sing Bread of Life together right now. Oh, bread of life. You are the bread. You are the bread. Once we were hungry, now we are fed. You bring our faith. Small as the seed, so you are faithful to fill every need. Hands that are empty, hearts with a hole, all who are starving in body and soul, be filled with joy. Of a holy surprise, all we are missing, the master supplies. You are the bread. You are the bread. You are the bread. You are the bread. close today you by did it, Benjamin. seeing if anybody Look checked in with some answers to our questions. All right. Aaron Bame uh, was uh, tuned in tonight. Thanks for tuning in, Aaron. Uh, Lauren Duncan says that as part of the song um, Jesus is Coming, she might be fixing her hair too. Oh, love it, Lauren. Um, Nell Nash says she's going to be putting on her bracelets. What a great idea. Ooh, that is Jesus a great is coming. Idea. We've got to look our best. Put your bracelets on. She does on. always wear awesome bracelets. That's a neat idea. Um, let's see. It looks like um, Danny Donovan is maybe going to get his skateboard out and get ready to go see Jesus on his skateboard. That is so cool. Neat idea, That's Danny. Cool, and finally, um, John thinks we were supposed to turn mute off to talk. He was panicked. Uh, let's see. Oh, Jacob Donovan was, I think he's talking about this song, Come If You're Weary, and stuff that's going on in the news today. It's true. Um, come if you're weary, come if you're weak, someday the earth will belong to the meek. Come if you're hungry, come if you thirst, the first will be last and the last will be first. I think that has a lot to do with what's going on right now with all the, uh, the, protests. the protests. And what is it they're protesting about, Maddie? They're protesting about how the, uh, there were four cops that decided to... Now, it was basically, they're basically protesting that Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Everything matters, that everything that should be equal. That nobody should be considered last. And that everybody is valuable in the eyes of God. That is just like one of our songs that says, if you can buy a bird for just a few cents, and God cares about every little bird in nature, well, of course he cares about every human too. And I think that's what's really going on this week, is that people want to make sure that we treat each other the way God wants us to treat each other, with peace and respect and love. Well, I think we've got a little, just a little bit of time left to finish with one more song, and I think that song today is going to be Jesus is Coming. 
I think that's an awesome idea. Should we get our robes back on? Um, only if you think um, you want to. Uh, I want to. Okay, go ahead and get your robe back <laughs> on. And we'll sing, Jesus is coming, we've got to look our best. I won't do my towel, but I'll do my robe. Oh, wait. I have a public service announcement. Last week, one of the questions was, which disciple was Jesus' beloved? Oh. And I mistakenly thought that it was... Peter. It's not. it's not Peter. Thank you to Kathy Schluter for sending out an email Corruption pointing out order. to me that it's actually it's John. I was going to, okay. John is Stop Jesus's it's beloved disciple. So thank you. Don't want to uh, spread misinformation here at Virtual Choir. Let's do Jesus is coming and then we'll pray and call it a night. I wanted to put my robe back on. <laughs> Take it, Miss Anna. tonight. Maddie, will you lead us in our closing prayer? All right, Maddie, go ahead and pray for us. Just give it your best try. Jesus is coming. Just do your best. Pray to everyone that everyone keeps their social distancing during this pandemic time to make sure that everyone stays home safely during these also other times. We have to, I don't know, you finish it off, Neil. You're doing great, just finish it, Maddie, you're doing great. Let everyone have a blessed week, amen. 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 We'll see you back at Virtual Choir next Wednesday. Be watching your email. I'm going to send you out the accompaniment tracks so that people can start working on their videos. See you next week. Bye. Bye.